Now, let's talk about adding and subtracting mixed numbers with or without regrouping. First, align the fractions and the whole numbers. Second, find the LCD of the denominators. Third, rename the fractions as equivalent similar fractions. Fourth, perform the operation. And the last one, simplify the answer if possible. Example number one, four and five over six plus one and one fourth. So the first thing that you're going to do, you're going to align the fractions and the whole numbers, okay, like this. Okay, naka-align na po yung whole numbers and then naka-align din po yung fractions. Okay, next is we are going to find the LCD of the, of the denominators. Ito, pupunin natin ang LCD ng denominators ng 6 at 4. Okay. So, lagyan natin siya ng ganyan. Okay. So, paano nga ulit tayo magkuha ng LCD and, uh, ng LCM at LCD ng numbers? Okay. Pwede tayong gumamit ng um, continuous division or ladder method. Pwede namang listing method. Alin man doon ang gamitin natin, parehas lang naman yung nagkalalabasan. Okay. So, gamitin natin ngayon ang listing method. So, ano po ang multiples ng 6 at ano naman po ang multiples ng 4? Okay. Ang 6 ay 6, 12, 18, 24, okay, and so on. Okay, how about 4? Ang 4 naman po ay 4, uh, 8, ano pa, 12, 16. Okay, so napapansin natin meron silang common na multiple which is 12. Okay, so therefore, ang atin pong LCD or LCM ng 6 at 4 ay 12. So we are going to put the LCD here. Lalagay natin dito ang LCD. Na 12. And then, just copy the whole number. Itong whole number na ito, copy lang natin dito. Okay. Now, okay, so ito pong uh, LCD natin, i-divide natin doon sa dating denominator. Yun. So, divide lang natin yan. Divide. 12 divided by 6, the answer is 2. And then, the answer is will be multiplied sa numerator. Okay, again, 12 divided by 6, the answer is 2. 2 times 5, the answer is 10. Lagay natin dito yung 10. Okay, next. Ganon din dito. 12, i-divide natin siya sa dating denominator na 4. 12 divided by 4, the answer is 3. And then, 3 times 1. Dito sa numerator, i-multiply yung sagot dito. 12 divided by 4 is 3. And then, 3 times 1, the answer is 3. Okay, now, 4... Plus 1, the answer is 5. 10 plus 3, the answer is 13. Copy the denominator na 12. Okay. Now, take a look at our answer. Okay. So, ito po ay isang improper fraction. Okay. So, pinakahuli natin gagawin, we are going to simplify the answer if possible. Pero ito naman po ay nakasimplify na. Pero siya po ay isang improper fraction. So, ang gagawin natin, gagawin po muna, muna natin siyang mixed number or mixed fraction. Okay, so ganito yon 5 plus ang 13 over 12 ay ganito yon Ang 13 over 12 or divide natin. 13 divided by 12, the answer is 1. 1 times 12, the answer is 12. Okay, ganyan. So, itong 1 ay ito. Ito po, dito siya. And then, it's 1. Okay, so, 5 plus 1, the answer is 6. And 1 over 12. So, the answer is 6 and 1 over 12. Next example, 1 and 2 fifth plus 8 and 2 thirds plus 1 half. So, the first step is we are going to align the fractions and the whole numbers. Ayan po, naka-align na po yung whole number, pati rin po yung uh, fraction. Okay, next we are going to find the LCD of the denominators. Ito po yung, yung denominators, 5, 3, and 2. Okay, so uh, sabi ko nga, pwede natin gamitin ang listing method sa pagkuha ng LCM or LCD. Pwede rin namang uh, continuous division or ladder method. Okay, so... Uh, diretso na tayo. Ang kanyang LCD ay, ang LCD po ng 5, 3, at saka 2 ay 30. Okay, diretso na tayo ha. 
Okay. Lagay natin dito. Okay. Next is, just copy the whole number. 1, at saka yung 8. Okay. Dito naman, eh, wala namang kasamang whole number. Okay. So, next is, we are going to divide the LCD by the, yung dating niyang denominator. So, 30 divided by 5, the answer is 6. 6 times 2, the answer is 12. Okay. 30 divided by the 3, the answer is 10. 10 times 2, the answer is 20. Okay, next is 30 divided by 2, the answer is 15. 15 times 1, the answer is 15. Okay, so next is we are going to add the whole number. 1 plus 8 is 9. Again, 12 plus 20 plus 15, the answer is 47. Okay, 47 over... 30. Okay. So, ayan po. Just copy the denominator. Okay. So, looking at our answer, 9 and 47 over 30 siya po. Ang 47 over 30 po ay isang improper fraction. Pero silang dalawa ay wala ng common factor. So, ang gagawin natin, we are going to convert or change the improper fraction to mixed number. Okay. So, ganito ulit ang gagawin natin. 47 divided by 30, the answer is 1. 1 times 30, the answer is 30. Okay. 47 minus 30, the answer is 17. Okay. So, 47 over 30 will become 1 and 17 over 30. Okay. So, let us add. 9 plus 1, the answer is 10. 17 over 30. Ayan, okay? So, our answer is 10 and 17 over 30. Another example, we are going to subtract uh, mixed fractions or mixed number. 7 and 3 fourths minus 4 and 1 half. So, the first step is we are going to align the whole numbers and also the fractions like this. Okay, so, next is we are going to find the LCD of the denominators, yung 4 at saka 2. So, uh, pwede natin gamitin ang uh, listing method or continuous division or ladder method in finding the LCM or the LCD of 4 and 2. So, pwede natin gamit, gamitin muna natin ngayon ang listing method. Okay. 4, what are the multiples of 4? Okay, yun po ay 4, 8, 12, 16, and so on. Ang 2 naman po ay 2, 4, 8, 6, 8, and so on. So, ayan, nakikita natin may common multiple sila na 4. So, ayan. So, therefore, ang ating pong LCD or LCM ng 4 at saka 2 ay 2. Ay, 4 rather. So, ilagay natin dito ang kanyang LCD na 4. Ayan. So, next is, copy lang natin ang kanyang uh, whole number. Ayan. Kopihan lang natin yan. Kopihan lang natin. Okay. Next is, we are going to divide this LCD to the Yung dating niyang denominator. So, 4 divided by 4. The answer is 1. And then, multiply to the numerator. 4 divided by 4. The answer is 1. 1 times 3. The answer is 3. 4 divided by 2. The answer is 2. 2 times 1. The answer is 2. Okay. Next is, we are going to subtract first the numerator. Okay. Uunahin muna natin i-subtract ang numerators. So, 3 minus 2. The answer is 1. Okay, next is we are going to copy the denominator, which is 4. Ayan. Next is subtract the whole number. 7 minus 4, the answer is 3. Okay, sabi natin, the last uh, step that we are going to do is we are going to simplify the answer if possible. So, ngayon, tingnan natin yung ating fraction na 1 over 4. Siya po ba ay uh, lowest term na or nakasimplify na? Yes, kasi wala na po silang common factor, sila po ay lowest term na. So, therefore, the final answer is 3 and 1 fourth. Next example, 4 and 1 half minus 1 and 8 tenths. So, we are going to align the uh, whole numbers and also the fraction. So, ayan, nakalign na po sila. Okay, so next is we are going to find the LCD of the denominators ng 2 at saka 10. Okay, so again, 
we can use the listing method or we can use the ladder method in finding the LCD of 2 and 10. Ano po? So, gamitin natin ang listing method. Ano po ang multiples na 2? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and so on. Okay, ano naman po ang 10? Multiples ng 10 ay 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on. Okay, so may nakikita tayong common multiple. Yun po ay 10. Okay, so therefore, ang LCD or LCM ng 2 at 10 ay 10. So, isulat lang natin siya dito. Okay, next is, kopihin natin ang whole number na 4 and 1. Okay, ayan, pinopi lang natin ang whole numbers. Okay, so next is, we are, we are going to divide this to the, uh, yung dating denominator. So, 10 divided by 2, the answer is 5. 5 times 1, the answer is 5. Next is 10 divided by 10, the answer is 1. 1 times 8, the answer is 8. Okay, so we are going to subtract first the numerators. Titinan natin numerators. We are going to subtract 5 minus 8. Okay, so hindi pwedeng isa, subtract. Diba? Cannot be. So, we are going to regroup. Okay, magre-regroup po tayo. We are going to borrow one whole number from 4. So, Kapag binaruhan natin ng 4, magi mababawasan siya ng isa, magiging 3 na lang siya. Okay? Okay, next is, we are going to add the numerator and the denominator. 5 plus 10, the answer is 15. Okay? And then copy the denominator na 10. Okay, again, where did we get 15? Saan po natin kinuha ang 15? Okay, we add 5 and 10. Inad po natin yung 5 at saka 10, kaya naging 15. Bakit po siya naging 3? Nag-borrow po tayo ng isa doon sa 4, so naging 3 na lang siya. Okay? So, next is just copy yung baba. Kukopya lang natin itong banasa baba. Okay. Huwag po natin gayahin yung ginawa natin sa taas, ha? Kukopyahin lang po natin yung nasa babang yan. Okay, next is, subtract again the numerators. 15 minus 8, the answer is 7. Okay, copy the denominators na 10. Okay, 3 minus 1, the answer is 2. Kasi yung pinakalas nating step ay we are going to simplify the answer if possible. O, ang 7, 7 over 10 naman po ay uh, lowest term na, so there's no need for you to... Uh, Simplify, kasi nakasimplify na siya. So, again, our final answer is 2 and 7 over 10.